Thank you very much for David for your kind introduction. And uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is my great pleasure and honor to be here to introduce what is umami. And uh, today I, I, I am going to talk about the basic umami concept and what is umami and uh, how you can find umami taste in various kinds of food. So uh, before talking about umami, I would like to introduce uh, how the taste of food is made up by various kinds of factors. So for example, when you eat uh, lunch or dinner with close friends or your family members, you can fully enjoy the taste of food. But if you are sick or you, you, um, you are very nervous in front of uh, uh, um, the first meeting people, uh, you cannot enjoy the taste of food. Uh, this is also a very important factor to make up the taste of food. And uh, uh, the color or shape or sound that you can, feel, uh, you can hear during eating is also a, a very important factor to make the taste of food and also spicy taste or astringent taste or aroma are also very important to make up the taste of food. And among these various kinds of uh, factors, the basic tastes, including sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and umami, are the most important factors to make up the taste of food because these five basic tastes directly stimulate our tongue. And uh, uh, the reason why we call these five uh, tastes as a basic taste is uh, based on the recent physiological studies. So uh, let me talk more about basic taste. So when we feel the taste of sugar, uh, the chemical component is sucrose, glucose, or so on, uh, we call the taste of sugar or sucrose is sweet. In the same manner, we call the taste of acetic acid or citric acid as sour. And we call the taste of salt or sodium chloride as salty. And the caffeine in coffee or alcohols in uh, many green vegetables is called bitter. In the same manner, uh, the taste of glutamate, inosinate, and guanylate is called umami. And the most important thing is that glutamate is the most abundant amino acid found in nature. So what is umami? Uh, umami is a taste of glutamate, inosinate, and granulate, important taste element in natural foods. And umami is a basic taste along with sweet, sour, salty, and bitter. And it is usually described as savory, meaty, brothy, or mouthfulness in English. So today you can uh, try various kinds of uh, foods and you can find umami taste in that food. So uh, let me talk about uh, protein and amino acids. Basically, protein is composed of 20 different kinds of amino acids and the pure protein has no taste. But once protein broken down into each amino acid, the amino acid has a unique taste. And uh, 20 kinds of uh, different kinds of amino acids uh, divided into two, three different taste groups. Number one is umami or sour. The second is sweet. The third group is bitter. And the uh, important thing is glutamate and aspartate has umami taste. But uh, glutamate is, the taste of glutamate is very much stronger than the taste of aspartate. So we usually feel the taste of glutamate, umami. So who discovered the taste of glutamate? It was almost 100 years ago. The professor Kikunae Ikeda found umami. So uh, in, 90, in 1899, Professor Ikeda went to Germany to study physics. Even though his major was not uh, taste science, food, food science or taste of food, 
He was very much interested in the taste of foods that he first met in Germany. For example, tomato, cheese, meat, and asparagus. So it was almost 100 years ago, these kind of foods were not popular in Japan. So uh, Professor Ikeda first met and tried to taste this kind of food in Germany. And when, when he ate this kind of foods, he felt something different kind of taste, different from four basic tastes. At that time, all the scientists believed that there were only four basic tastes, such as <coughs> sweet, sour, salty, and bitter. But Professor Ikeda felt something different taste in these kind of foods. And he thought that a universal taste, which cannot be reproduced by any mixture of four basic tastes, and he felt the taste strongly in kombu broth. Kombu is a very traditional material that has been used in Japanese cuisine, Japanese dishes. And he studied he started study the taste of kombu broth. <coughs> and finally, in 1908, he isolated 30 gram of glutamic acid from 12 kilogram of dried kombu. And he named the taste umami. So after the discovery of glutamate from, uh, from kombu, uh, his discipline, uh, Mr. Shintaro Kodama, isolated inosinate as another umami substance from, from dried bonito. So you can see the real dried bonito in the demonstration oh. by Shingo. And uh, also the third one is guanulate. Guanulate is rich in dried shiitake mushroom. So all these three materials, dried kombu, dried bonito and dried sheet and mushrooms are very popular and uh, very important food materials to prepare Japanese dishes. So now let's try to find out umami taste in tomato. Please take one tomato on your table and put tomato in your mouth. Please chew the tomato at least 30 times to feel every sensation or taste in tomato. So then swallow the tomato. Okay. Do you feel any taste on your tongue after swallowing the tomato? Do you feel anything on, on your tongue? Yes? If you feel anything, that is quite uh, quite subtle and ambiguous taste. And you may not have a suitable word to explain the taste. But you feel something taste on your tongue. That is umami in tomato. So from the recent studies on the taste of, to taste of umami, so umami has a very uh, unique characteristic uh, that has long aftertaste. That's why you still have something on your tongue. But the taste is very subtle and ambiguous. So that is a natural umami taste in tomato. So uh, as I told you, uh, uh, there are three major umami substances. One is uh, glutamate, and the other one is inosinate and guanulate. And basically, glutamate is rich in various kinds of food. So I think you have you received this booklet in the information kit. And uh, if you look at page 66 in this booklet, uh, you can find the tables uh, which is which is showing the contents of glutamate and inosinate and guanulate in natural food. And glutamate, glutamate is naturally uh, rich in various kinds of foods, including vegetables, meat, and fish. And the inosinate is uh, uh, rich in meat and fish. And guanulate is especially rich in uh, dried mushrooms.